Well, for more on the possible tax hikes and how they're likely to contribute to the fiscus, we're joined by T PWC's Kyle Mandy. Kyle, a very good evening to you. I almost uh, renamed your employer there. But let's begin with this VAT expectation. People saying it's likely to go from 15 to 16 percent. Do you agree with that? Uh, we do agree with that um, for a, a very simple reason, in a sense, is that uh, if you accept the Treasury need to, to take some measures to, to address the, the fiscal deficit, they really only have two options available to them. They can reduce expenditure or they can increase taxes. Um, the, the scope to, to reduce expenditure at this point in time seems very limited um, in the absence of getting some agreement on the public sector wage bill, which seems highly unlikely at this point in time. So we don't think that there's scope to really reduce expenditure by the, the sort of margins that would be required. And we're talking about 50 billion rand uh, um, of measures that we expect will need to be taken over and above what was already announced in last year's budget. Um, so once you've actually factored that in, they really have no option but to raise revenues. And if we're talking about significant amounts of revenues of, in the region of 35 billion rand, which is what we expect, um, they have no other choice but to go to VAT uh, to, to raise that sort of money. But consumers watching you and I tonight will say they're already paying so much for food and other products on very tight budgets. So why should they be taxed more when money, for example, could be sought from corporate tax, the people who make the billions? Well, well, they're absolutely right. Um, I think it's less about going to corporate tax and more about going to, to the expenditure side of the budget. Ideally, that's where the, the cuts need to happen. Um, but as I say, uh, it's a question of whether or not they have the ability to do that at this point in time. Um, Corporate tax in itself is a problem because uh, it, uh, it's the most damaging of all the, all the taxes from an economic perspective. Um, How so? Well, what it does, it ultimately reduces investment and, and, uh, and spending in the economy, um, and, 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 and that leads to lower economic growth ultimately. Um, and that's the problem with, uh, with corporate tax. Our corporate tax rate is already relatively high compared to global standards at 28%. The global average is around 24%. Um, and it's just going to make us uh, even less uh, attractive from an, as an investment destination if we had to, if we had to raise uh, corporate tax. But what would a, an increase in VAT to 16% mean then for households and other consumers who are already overstretched at this point? Well, absolutely. It's, it's, going to be, it's going to hit consumers and it's going to reduce their purchasing power. Um, there's no question about that. But... Uh, it's, it's the lesser of all the evils. And it's not to say that it's not an evil. Absolutely it's an evil. As I said earlier, I don't think we should be having any tax increases in our ideal world. Um, but it's the least of the evils, if you like, when it comes to, to tax increases. And I see how you said that you expect tax revenue for 2018-2019, for example, uh, to be 10 billion rand lower than what was forecast in the medium-term budget. Yes. So... Uh, uh, the, the situation from the econ economic perspective has deteriorated since the time of the mini-budget. We've seen a, a slowdown in the economy. Uh, the last quarter of, the, of 2019 was, was particularly poor. Um, and, in fact, we've seen that trend continue into, into the new year uh, insofar as uh, retail sales, etc., are concerned. So, so yeah, we, we expect uh, you know, a further deterioration in revenue collections of at least 12 billion rand. It could actually be worse. I hope not, but it could be worse than, than that as well. And President Sol Ramaphosa in the State of the Nation address now almost two weeks ago was speaking about the establishment of the Sovereign Wealth Fund, which is aimed to a degree to try and equalize the situation economically in the country between rich and poor. Heading into the budget speech by Tito Mboweni this week. How much attention should the finance minister pay to that? I imagine a great deal of detail will be required from him. Well, I think clarity is going to be required in terms of what is entailed and how they envisage it actually working. Um, because at this point in time, without having that sort of information, the, the obvious response is but we've got bigger priorities to, to deal with than, than worrying about sovereign wealth funds. Perhaps we should have worried about that 10 years ago when, when we were in a much better fiscal position. But at this point in time, it's more about the fiscal deficit than, than a sovereign wealth fund. So it would be interesting to see what the minister comes up with. What is the likelihood then at this point of getting a handle on this fiscal deficit? Is it beyond rescue at this point? Um, I, it's definitely not beyond rescue. Um, it's, it's a question of what do they have the appetite to do? Do they have the appetite to increase taxes, and which is going to be unpopular, of course? Do they have the appetite to reduce the public sector wage bill? Um, if they can deal with those things, then they, they, I think there's an outside chance that we can per, perhaps avoid another ratings downgrade to, to junk. Um, but it's going to be a close call either way. But 
if they don't do anything, then that, that, uh, that downgrade is virtually guaranteed. Kyle Mandy, on that note, on that rather sobering note, let's leave it there for tonight. Thank you so much for being on Nightline.